What's going on? You bunch of dossers. Um, sorry, Ian and Linda, but I'll have to pre-warn you that I'm quite drunk at the moment. Um, I'm in Cairns right now. Um, but I've had how many bits? About like four? Only four. But the dehydration is killing me. Um, what's the time? It's half four on the Saturday. And I'll tell you why I'm a bit drunk. I was walking down the street. I got here at like two. Walking down the street, thinking I'm gonna go explore the coast, the Esplanade or Ard. Don't know how you say it. Gonna go see what that's saying. And then, bam! Um, <laughs> awful. Um, sorry. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the so apparently the Aussie rules football was on the final. So I was walking walking down the street, moving my feet. You know what I mean? And um, and there was a lot of commotion coming from this pub. And I was like, what's going on in there? So I put my head round. What are you saying, bro? And um, yeah, the Aussie rules football. AFL final between Geelong, which is a team from Victoria, near Melbourne, near Melbourne, a city, and Sydney. So Geelong and Sydney were playing each other in the final at Melbourne's cricket ground, which you will have seen in the Melbourne vlog. And if you haven't, go back and check the vlog. Wow. So it's a full circle. Um, so yeah, I got here, I was walking down the street and then I saw that and I thought, why not pop in? Get a, get a beer. So I had a beer. I was like, it's only the first quarter. I think they play four quarters. Honestly, I've not got a clue what goes on there. Though. It's baffling. It's so cracked. I don't have a clue. It's like, they give fouls, but like, surely the point of AFL is like, they just batter each other. That's just what I thought. Anyway, I'm sat in a park, because um, it's over. It was like 1916 or something when I left. To Geelong. Well done, guys. Um, yeah, so I thought, uh, why not just, why not just leave, chat to you guys, you know? I haven't started the vlog, it's a couple of hours in, but why not just st start this? Um, so I thought I'd leave. Um, yeah, like I said, the Geelong team, Geelong, Geelong, don't know, they were winning. Um, stupidly. I think I was working out. I didn't want to check the rules. I wanted to work out for myself. I don't know why the fouls, like how they're their fouls. Um, and there was a stupid amount of players on the pitch. It's just hectic. But um, I worked out that maybe it's like seven or six points for a goal between the middle posts and then like two or three between the side posts. But I don't like the posts because like, even though I hate rugby, at least rugby has a horizontal post, which makes it worthwhile. Whereas these just four posts just stuck in the ground. Weirdos. Anyway, I was stood there. I'm a, I had a couple of pints. There was a girl from Nottingham behind the bar. She gave me a free one. Lovely. And then a bloke came up to me. I was just stood like near the smoking area. Because that was like a free spot. You'll see it on the vlog. And um, another bloke came up to me and just started chatting to him. Called Toby. Originally from like near Melbourne, but he lives in Cairns. And he gave me, he just bought me a free pint. So cheers, bro. Um, so I had that. So I'm four pints deep, dehydrated, quite drunk, lovely. But I thought I'll leave now because I think it was like the in-between bit of the third and fourth qu quarter. Uh, it's half four and I thought, why not like go down to the coast? Cause I actually want to see it, like make sure I see it. Um, and I wasn't doing a whole lot there. And I'm also up early to go to my waterfall tour tomorrow. But yeah, I thought I'd check a movie, guys. Now as well, a couple of hours after I got here. But I hope you will enjoy this vlog. It's a pretty hectic vlog, I think. I'll be at Gilligan's, which is just literally a nightclub. I, look, I walked past it, it's just hectic. Uh, it's, it's two floors, a nightclub on the bottom, apparently it goes on to three. 
and everyone that stays in the hostel just goes out anyway so we'll see that what that's saying on monday night and tuesday night i'm in my private room for tonight and tomorrow night because i've got two tours coming up i've got the rainforest tour tomorrow early and then i'm up earlier on monday to go to see the great barrier reef which we're banging so yeah uh i hope you come along for the ride and i hope you enjoy it but i'll see you Did forget to say that wearing this England shirt, cheers to the guys from Bude, um, prove wonders. People were just chatting to me because, like, they see the three lines on the shirt. Jules Remy, Jules Remy, yeah, yeah, Jules Remy still gleaming. Um, so they just came up to me chatting. They were like, Oh, what's then? A couple thought it was cricket, no, it's football, suck, according to them. Um, but yeah, it proved wonders for just chatting to people in the pub. If I'm completely honest, I didn't think that Cairns looked like this. Um, I thought they'd have a beach. I know there's a beach over there, but um, I thought the, the coastline was a bit different. I didn't realize there was like a marina and stuff. I'm a bit naive, you know? But yes, yeah, it's, it's decent. Water is not that nice, to be fair, it's a bit brown. Good morning everyone, um, it's like half seven here in Cairns, I'm off to the rainforests today, um, I went to bed quite early last night, uh, managed to sober myself up a little bit, um, thankfully, <laughs> but yeah, that was good fun to be fair, I watched the video back and I hate it to be honest, um, just the chat is horrific, so I apologise but I thought why not just leave it in the vlog, make it authentic, um, and there could be plenty more where that came from, so be, be warned. But yeah, um, off to the rainforest today. I'll film what I can, I'll speak what I can. So I hope you enjoy. So the first of six stops today is Babinda Boulders. Um, just a little way into the, into the rainforest, um, next to a town called Babinda, which is convenient. Um, just like a little river uh, but I'm doing like a little walk down to a viewing platform uh, near Devil's Pool I think basically there's some legend about some woman dying here it's obviously not true but I'll go see what is happening and then maybe have a little dip as well can't say I've ever actually been to a rainforest before so um, it's pretty spectacular seeing the vegetation um, and those boulders are pretty pretty hefty aren't they reminds me of Rugrats you know that kids program comment below if you if you know what I mean eh my guy Adam Brenton probably knows he loves a he loves a good old he knows what he knows what time it is um, it is 924 in fact um, but yeah it's pretty fascinating seeing all the all the big old trees and stuff um yeah i'm loving it
stop number two here is uh, Josephine Falls, which um, is like some waterfalls. Um, and there's a natural rock slide here. Uh, I've already been in, hence the sort of messy hair, but um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I went down it twice, but like getting up was, it was just like really slippery rocks. bumps on the slide made it seem like initially that oh it's going to hurt a little bit but it actually didn't I think it's just been smoothed down so much and it I mean it literally lasts like a second and then you're submerged being pounded by a load of water so it's pretty quick yeah getting up was just really quite difficult that was like the main difficulty um it's just like really slippery so you couldn't just cling on to anything but nonetheless a very good trip um see the proper waterfall and then that was like an extra subsidiary waterfall from it um went off to the side into like a little creek i'm now here at the third stop of today um it's actually a famous spot it's the miller miller falls and i'll show you a clip of the falls now And um, I'll give you a couple of seconds to work out where, what advert or where might you have seen that before? That's right. It's a Herbal Essences Take My Breath Away advert. So I haven't had a lovely pub lunch of a burger, chips and beer. Lovely. Um, we came here to this fourth stop which is the curtain fig tree um basically it's two fig trees that have like one's like toppled into the other and then it's just started growing loads of like vines downwards um, and it's pretty, pretty huge, but very impressive. Um, quite interesting. It's only a quick stop, but yeah. Mad how that's just here. Um, in the middle of a forest. But yeah, the cut, the cut and fig tree. This is the sixth and final stop at a lake in the middle of the rainforest. Um, it's like a three kilometre walk around the outside of it, so I'm going to do that um, instead of jumping in. Maybe if I have time at the end, I'll I'll have a quick dip. But um, I realised that I didn't show you the fifth stop, but that's because there was nothing really to show. It was like a little creek that we went to um, to see some platypus, but there weren't any there, which is a shame. But you can't always alter that, really, can you? So I thought for this. Final stop before we head back to Cairns that I'll just have a wander around um, the lake. I'm actually not sure what it's called to be fair, but yeah, it's like decoy. <laughs> it's really nice, much nicer than that. Um, hopefully I'll see some animals on the way. Uh, there's a crocodile, a singular freshwater crocodile living in the lake. Um, apparently freshwater crocodiles aren't actually dangerous to humans. Um, not in the same way anyway. They're a little bit smaller. Apparently just eat like the fish and stuff rather than uh, saltwater crocodiles which live in like murky waters and all that. So yeah, maybe if I walk around this way, I'll be able to see him. I highly doubt.
So I'm nearly all the way around and unfortunately no crocodile or any other wildlife apart from these bloody turkeys that I keep seeing everywhere. They're very annoying, but yeah, um, still a nice walk through the rainforest around the lake. So yeah, worth doing. Um, all in all, it's been a very, very good day. Um, worth the trip of the Atherton Tablelands and Rainforest. I think that's what it's called. Could have butchered that completely, but yeah, worth doing for sure. Um, tomorrow is my Great Barrow Reef snorkeling tour, which I'm buzzing for. Um, hopefully see some sick fish, like good fish, not actually sick, you know. Um, and the reef, obviously, which will be very surreal, I think, because I saw bits of it in the Whit Sundays tour I did, but like nothing major. And hopefully the snorkels work this time for me. So I don't know, it'll be another, an, another early night. Uh, I know I've said that so many times, but I'm up, getting up at like half six each day just to like do these tours and travel each place I'm going to and sort myself out. So um, yeah, I think on well, tomorrow night, then I'll be going to Gilligan's. So it might get a little bit more interesting for people who just want pints footage which is just a bit weird but you've already had that fix in this vlog so it could be, well be some more we'll see but yeah um i'll probably catch you in the morning so see you later morning everybody um it's monday morning and i'm just on my way to the arena to get my boat for the great barrow reef tour um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to film, obviously, of the of the reef, but hopefully the water is clear enough that from the boat I'll be able to grab a few clips. But I'll show you what I'll get up to. Um, obviously, can't take my phone in the water, which is a shame, and I don't have a GoPro, which is more of a shame. So many fish that, like the rain, a rainbow fish. You know that book, is it? Is it a book? Kid's book? Yeah, saw one of them. Or loads of them actually. Just loads of colours everywhere, just off the fish. Saw a turtle, banging. But yeah, I was in for a good like hour. Water was like 27 degrees. Lovely. So, so nice. Um, and yeah, like the video that I'll put up, uh, you can sort of see just the sea around it and then the light reef is the is the lighter colour. Um, yeah, so it's so interesting just the amount of fish and fish and stuff that are down there, um, feeding on all the coral. So yeah, um, brilliant experience. And we this is only before lunch, so we've got a, a bar, like a barbecue meats and stuff, fish and stuff, lovely. Um, for lunch, and then we're going to another spot to do some more snorkeling, which is gonna be sick. Um, so I'm very happy I've done this and the snorkel work this time, which is even better, so perfect. Now that 
was rather remarkable. Um, genuinely, I think seeing the Great Barrier Reef properly got to be one of the best experiences I've ever had, I think. Um, the amount of fish you saw and just like, just cutting about right on the reef, just so weird. Uh, I genuinely never thought it would be that good. Um, and I know I said in Whit Sundays I like the snorkeling, but snorkeling there was all right. Probably pretty crap in comparison to the one I've just done today because today was just phenomenal. Um, and also made the most of, of the bar. Had a four beers, I think. And then they gave out some free glasses of wine. I had, they only had red wine though, very annoying. But had that and then two dollars you can fill it up again so i've had it just because it was like free so yeah a very 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 good day all around <laughs> Just a quick update on what I'm doing. Just been to an Irish pub. I've had, it was, there was a deal on, it was a chicken palm and a IPA for $20, which is banging. So I had that. And then I saw he was on draft. So I had that, cause why not? And then there was, it was an Irish pub. There was Guinness there, why not? Um, as you can see from the video that I did actually get it on the line, but the angles made it seem like it wasn't. So I'm taking that as a victory. And yeah, now I'll see what happens tonight. just sat in a park here in Cairns um, and I don't know where probably just stay here for the rest of the day I was planning to go to the gym but I don't think I'll be able to do that now but we'll see potentially might be able to later um, and then later on probably get on the beers again before my flight tomorrow but I don't feel good <laughs> so I've been in this park for like four hours now but I'm feeling better I had like three Gatorades, I think. So that's helped me out quite a bit. Um, so I probably will go to the gym in a couple hours. Still keep chilling there for a little bit longer. Um, go to the gym. Might go back to the Irish pub, have some more beers there, because they were lovely. A couple of Guinness, I mean, it's not nice Guinness, but. So I've done my gym session. Um, I don't really feel good for it. I think it was actually a very bad decision. I feel pretty bad at the moment. Um, but nevertheless, it's like six o'clock. I'm going to go to the Irish pub and get a meal and have the beer there. And hopefully that perks me up ahead of tonight. We'll see, but I, I really don't feel good. <laughs> we'll see there. I'll take you along for the journey. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's my final morning here in Cairns and I am a broken man. I'm pretty buzzing to get out of here, to be honest. Um, got my flight to Brisbane in the afternoon, but I'm gonna get there like three hours early just cause I don't really wanna be sticking around here. Um, last night I went back to the Irish pub, had some fajitas and a beer. The beer went down horribly. And then I went back to the hostel and had some more drinks. I think I had like six beers in total, but they just, 
weren't going down well at all. Um, the hangover from yesterday killed me. Um, but I stayed out till like 12 and then it was just like, I'm dead, I'm shattered. I've got to get up for my flight. Let's just go to bed. Um, so it wasn't, it was a bit more sensible, let's, just, let's say. Um, not as heavy as Monday night, but good fun. Um, sat there with an Irishman, an American, and two Aussies. So yeah, an eclectic mix of people. But yeah, it was, it was fun. Good meeting some more people, but I'm quite ready to leave Australia now, to be honest. Uh, cannot wait to get to Singapore for the Grand Prix. But um, yeah, nothing much more to add, to be fair. Got a night in Brisbane, but that's just like a stop, stop gap before an overnight flight to Singapore tomorrow evening. Um, I hope you enjoy this vlog. It's all just a bit of a mess to be honest, but it's quite long. Um, lots of content for you to enjoy. So I hope you do enjoy it. See you later.